Hello, my friends. I am Marietta, and I welcome you to Marietta's Art Show. In order to create art to cope with the pandemic and relieve depression, you need to understand why art is so important in all our lives. Let's continue with my introduction, and I will further explain what today's video is all about. video, you'll watch me create four small resin art pieces for Exposures International Gallery in Sedona, Arizona, as I discuss my thoughts regarding the value and how creating increases brain plasticity, causes dopamine release, boosts self-esteem, and brings more happiness into one's life. I look forward to sharing some valuable thoughts and facts with you. If you're new to my channel, I thank you for watching and appreciate you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing and you will help my channel grow so I can spread the love of art to as many people as I can. Consider having me create a commission for you. It gives me great joy as an artist. Let's continue with the art creation and my story. Stay tuned for my special guest toward the end of the video. As I keep creating new content on my videos, I would be remiss to ignore the current crazy world that we live in, with the pandemic hovering over all our lives. Although I retreat into my self-made art bubble and am able to get away from the troubling thoughts for periods of time, the new normal is still awaiting me and all of us in our daily lives. As I see it, the world as we knew it will never be the same. We need to change our way of thinking and reprioritize what's truly important. Social isolation and the abrupt lack of personal touch, the hugs, the handshakes, and the loss of human physical connections has played a huge part of causing the depression, deprivation, and loss. The feeling seems to mirror that of mourning, the death of something that once was and now is gone. We are the casualty of our microscopic entity and most powerful foe. The loss of freedom to travel, engage in social gatherings and entertainment, go shopping and share a smile, and so much more. It's difficult to find those moments when your soul is at peace fully. The old way of thinking that this too will pass and will return to the way things used to be, there's a lesson to be learned from all this. Is there a sign for us to slow down and evaluate what's important in our lives, our relationships with family and friends, and just as important, learning to value oneself. So you might ask, why is art important when the world seems to be falling apart and changing so rapidly? Art is important because it makes you feel beauty of freedom. It is free expression of human mind and senses. Art is a way of expression, a way of joy, a way of making people understand things which can't be done verbally. In fact, we can say that everything that is beautiful is art. Art is everywhere around us and not just present in the museums and galleries. Art fills a creator as well as the admirer with joy and provides us with inner calmness and happiness. Art doesn't discriminate between people and is equally special for the admirers of it. Art makes people optimistic about their future. Art can be used to help spread a message of inspiration, making people achieve great things in life. Art can be a form of communication between people to focus on common issues 
for betterment of humankind. The purpose of art is not to produce a product. The purpose of art is to produce thinking. The secret is not the mechanics or technical skills that create art, but the process of introspection and different levels of contemplation that generate it. Once you learn to embrace this process, your creative potential is limitless. Artwork should be a lens by which to view the world and not passive, like a painting that sits dormant in a museum. Creativity lies not in the done, but in the doing. Art is active and incomplete. Art is a sneak peek into the future of potential of what could be, not a past result of what has already been done. Art is a process, not a product. Art is a human act. Art is risky, generous, courageous, and provocative. You can be perfect or you can make art. You can keep track of what you'll get in return for your effort or you can make art. You can enjoy the status quo or you can make art. Creating art relieves stress, encourages creative thinking, increases brain plasticity, and imports other mental health benefits and anyone can do it. There are a lot of misconceptions floating around about art. Some think you have to be creating paintings or sculptures to be considered a real artist. Others believe that you are either born with a talent or not. Many who don't consider themselves to be artistic feel that there is no point in creating art since they won't be satisfied with the results. Another myth is that you have to work with an art therapist to get any therapeutic benefit from doing art. But we are all born with an innate desire to express ourselves and art encompasses a wider range of activities than you may imagine. Here are some of the best ways in which creative expression can benefit mental health making you a happier, healthier person. Activities like painting, sculpting, drawing, and photography are relaxing and rewarding hobbies that can lower your stress level and leave you feeling mentally clear and calm. Creating art provides a distraction, giving your brain a break from your usual thoughts. The average person has roughly 60,000, that's per day, and 90% of them are exactly the same day in and out. When you get totally immersed in a creative endeavor, you may find yourself in what's known as the zone or a state of flow. This meditative-like state focuses your mind and temporarily pushes aside all your worries. Leonardo da Vinci proclaimed that Art embraces all the ten functions of the eye. That is to say, darkness, light, body and color, shape and location, distance and closeness, motion and rest. Creating art trains you to concentrate on details and pay more attention to your environment. In this way, it acts like meditation. Art enhances problem-solving skills. Unlike math, there is no one correct answer in art. Art encourages creative thinking and lets you come up with your own unique solutions. Out-of-the-box thinking also stimulates your brain to grow new neurons. Contrary to popular belief, creative thinking does not mean using the right side of your brain. Creativity involves getting both hemispheres of your brain to communicate with each other. The concept of left brain, right brain dominant never had a strong foundation in science in the first place. And now this theory has been totally debunked. It also promotes the stereotype that you can't be both analytical and creative 
which is obviously not true. Some of the greatest minds of all times, including Leonardo da Vinci and Albert Einstein, both were simultaneously analytical and creative. The most complicated functions that humans perform, such as learning language or playing or listening to music, both require whole brain thinking. Art boosts self-esteem, provides a sense of accomplishment. You may stick your kid's artwork on the refrigerator door to boost their self-esteem. Hanging your latest artwork on the wall can still instill the same feeling in you. Creating art increases the feel-good neurotransmitter dopamine. Dopamine has been called the motivation molecule. It boosts drive, focus, and concentration. It enables you to plan ahead and resist impulses so that you can achieve your goals. Dopamine stimulates the creation of new neurons and prepares your brain for learning. You don't have to practice fine art to reap the benefits of creating. Crafting hobbies of all kinds, such as knitting, quilting, sewing, drawing, photography, woodworking, gardening, and do-it-yourself home repair, increases dopamine, wards off depression, and protects the brain from aging. Every time you engage in a new or complex activity, your brain creates new connections between brain cells. Your brain's ability to grow connections and change throughout your lifetime is called brain plasticity or neuroplasticity. Creating art stimulates communication between various parts of the brain. In this way, creating art has been proven to increase psychological and emotional resilience and resistance to stress. It's now believed that intelligence depends more on the number of brain connections than the size of your brain. Educators and parents alike have long suspected that music and art programs make for better students. Now, with neuroimaging, science can finally back this up. Children with musical training perform better in math, language, and reading. Early music lessons develops brain plasticity and connectivity. There's evidence that brain-enhancing benefits of music lessons received during childhood can follow through adulthood and last a lifetime. The benefits of visual art programs are equally impressive. Art lessons increase brain plasticity, fluid intelligence, IQ, and attention. They improve overall behavior and reduce impulsiveness. Brain scans revealed that looking at works of art triggers a surge of dopamine in the same area of the brain that registers romantic love. Creating art increases cognitive abilities and memory even for people with serious brain disorders. Dementia is mainly thought of as a memory loss problem, but patients also experience other symptoms such as agitation, aggression, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. Drugs meant for dementia symptoms are not generally very successful. When dementia patients are encouraged to create visual art, they derive obvious pleasure from it. It improves their social behavior, self-esteem, and reduces the psychiatric symptoms. It is believed that these activities increase connectivity between the right and left hemispheres of the brain and help to grow new brain cells. Albert Einstein said that creativity is intelligence having fun. If it's been a long time since you've had fun expressing yourself creatively, you may not know how to begin. You simply have to pick up a medium and start. Keep in mind, creating art is about the journey and not about the end product. In short, creating art can be beneficial throughout all stages of life. It can help children be better students and improve quality of life for seniors. 
Art can release burden of some stress, encourages creative thinking, boosts self-esteem, and provides a sense of accomplishment. It can make you all around better, happier person. It can even change the structure and function of your brain. There's no need to feel intimidated about doing art since it's the process of the creation that provides the benefits, not the quality of the results. So now you may say, is art the solution that will help cope with the pandemic? There's so much fear and uncertainty right now that we have not experienced before and our status quo way of life seems to have vanished. Our safety net of existence has been altered. We are facing problems we have not faced in our lifetime. Art is present in museums, in our homes and offices, but it's also all around us, in the miracles of nature, the books we read, the music that sets our mood, and the social media we watch to entertain us. The truth is that art is available to all of us and anyone can partake in the creative process. Everyone has the potential to create. You don't have to be an artist, a writer, or possess talent. Why would you want to do that, you may ask? Because art stimulates positive emotion, gives rise to vulnerable human condition that may be somewhat uncomfortable, but necessary to experience. It gives you a connection and relationship shared with others through nonverbal communication. There is nothing else we can take in our lives that gives us so much in return. The movies that we can relate to and touch us so deeply. The songs that take you back to a place and time and awaken your memory or simply add to your chosen mood. An abstract painting can be interpreted differently by each person who takes the time to let it talk to them, perhaps none of them being the artist's perception of their own work. Reading books create images and lessons that can be applied to our lives or bring back distant memories that were forgotten. Art brings us together and connects us with so many people, our neighbors, families, friends, peers, young and old, and everyone in between. It bridges gaps between nationalities, ethnic groups, and cultures. It doesn't matter where we are in our life's journey. We all have hearts that beat, that love, and break and dream. We all are human. We all share emotions and experiences. Art bonds us in a special way and strengthens our connection with each other. We are not alone. Art fuels empathy, a most powerful of emotions. No matter what differences we have, there will always be something that connects us. This is why at a time the whole world is scared and uncertain about the outcome, it is so important to focus on what bonds us as humans. Give yourself permission to dive into the arts and find commonality among us at this time of isolation. This is the power of empathy. So much work has been put into everything that has been created. It is so worthwhile to take the time to appreciate it and learn from it. And better yet, take part in creating it and let it take you wherever it will. Grasp the opportunity to allow the freedom in your soul to fuel your emotions and start. Make a vow to yourself to pick up that pen or pencil or paintbrush or whatever medium that talks to you. Do it today and don't wait. If you give it a chance, you may find another world of magic awaits you. It's present now and it will always be. I find that creating art brings into existence a peaceful and magical place in one's soul. A place where depression and fear are not allowed to enter. Discover the innovative part of you 
that you may not know lives within and immerse yourself in the creative process. As I promised at the beginning of this video, I have a special guest and it's an honor and privilege for me to introduce Gail to you. I've known her for some time and she's really been so supportive of my art. And without so much more ado, there is Gail. And by the way, we're doing social distancing interview, which I know is kind of crazy, but I think it's important for us to see our faces. So here's Gail. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. It's Take two, three. Anyway. <laughs> I met Marietta several years ago and I had the privilege of working with her. So I've been a, a subscriber to her YouTube and I saw her making this very resin art and I had to have it. So I purchased it. It's been a privilege to know Marietta. She's an amazing person and so creative. I can't tell you how amazing her art is. Thank you so much, Gail. I so appreciate you and everything you've done for me. I would give you a hug, but obviously with the COVID thing going on, I can't and I'm so bummed. So, hug, hug. <laughs> I wanted to give you perspective of the pieces I created in my last YouTube videos. This one I did last week, which is a 24 by 24. And obviously these are 12 by 12s. They go together as a series and the series is called From the Sea. Obviously the abalone shell kind of gives it away. And I did not incorporate any seashells in the smaller pieces for this particular one, just because I think it would be too busy Glitz is really in and I made them very glitzy and I think that's plenty right now. I look forward to making more types of series with different colors. Let me know what you think about that, creating these series where these pieces can be placed in your home in different places or together. I hope you enjoyed watching my art piece unfold and can relate to my story. You must admit, Art certainly serves a valuable purpose in our lives. I look forward to your comments. Do you believe that art is important? Did I motivate anyone to start the creative journey? That's truly my purpose here. As I stated at the start, I enjoy commissions and will work with you with your color palette and price point. I place the links for the supplies in the description below as well as a link to my art website, mariettasart.com. I sell art on my website, as well as many of the art pieces which I create on this channel. Unless they are commissions, of course. You can contact me by emailing me through my website or commenting down below. Please subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Comment on my content and let me know what you would like to see me do next. So for now, 
Happy arting! Bardzo dziękuję! Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time.